Hello everybody, this is a demonstration of using Dell Spumi to log into Vivas Vault and performing a query. This is what the overall process looks like. So before I dive in, let's take a look at the Vault documentation to see what you're trying to accomplish. So first thing we're trying to do is to authenticate and to get a session ID. You use the session ID and then uh, pass it into the next HTTP operation, which is the query the document object in the Vault. So if you look at how the request, basically you're calling this URL and then you pass in the username and password. So with uh, Dell Boomi, what you can do is uh, within the HTTP connection, which is the vaults over here, um, you specify the URL and you also specify the username and password. The password's encrypted, which is great because then you're not hard coding into any of your uh, process, processes. Um, if not the person that actually originally typed it in, you can never really get that back out, which is also good because uh, you can have a bunch of configurators and they wouldn't know what the actual password is. So let's take a look at the uh, authentication operation. So it's a post command, and then uh, in the header, we want to let it get it to uh, accept um, application JSON. And in the resource path basically constructs the URL, password, and, and username. So if we look at the documentation for Dell Boomi for the HTTP connector, if we set the type to custom, right, this setting automatically places any header or resource path variable name, password, username with respective values in the security section. So that's what it's doing. So in password, set it as a replacement variable, likewise with the username. And there's nothing else to this. So once we get the response back, we're going to set it to um, a dynamic document property called authorization. And we're going to pull it from the session ID of the response that we get back from this HTTP operation. The next step is once we have the uh, session ID, we're going to uh, send another operation in, which is to query the uh, documents object. And before we do that, in Dell Boomi, in order for you to send in body, you need to basically set up a message. And here we just have the plain text message where I say the query is equal to um, select ID and name from documents. So we kind of look at this one here in the documentation. This is how you would send it in. So you have your uh, session using the authorization header. The content type is a form, and then uh, the ID, which is your query. So go back to here. So next step was the actual um, query. You can reuse the server connection, and then the operation is this one here. So in this case, authorization is set to nothing but it's a replacement variable so it will take it uh, from the um, the value that I set before using the set property shape and then I found that uh, through trial and error you had to set accept to application JSON otherwise Boomi's HTTP connector was set to something else which fault does not accept so this needs to be uh, explicitly set and likewise resource path is just uh, this thing here so let's close this up and then we're gonna try running this Just by clicking on test, and then we select a test atom, run the test. So here is Dell Boomi running through the various steps. So that ran pretty fast once it uh, got off the ground. In this case, you can see for this operation um, what the connection data is. So click on that and you can view it. So this is the JSON response, basically session ID is right here. And then you can see um, it's pulling, setting up the session ID, put in that parameter that we talked about in this case. Uh, the document is at uh, this particular step is still going to be the previous document, but that's okay. And then it's going to send this uh, connection here. And then, very lastly, basically, what's going to happen is if you click on this at the stop step, um, view the source, 
this is your JSON response for all the documents um, that we've just queried. So that's how you actually get uh, Boomi to be connected to the vault, authenticate, get a session ID, and perform some operation. Thanks for watching.